But I have to tell you that I was so amazed when my own son was four years old. And I realized that somehow that sense of unity and responsibility and compassion, that he had received that somehow, that it had been awakened in him. Because, and I hope you'll forgive me for this, my PhD son now, but when he was four years old, he was quite a miser. And I worried about it. <laughs> he would look for money everywhere, and he would put it in a little blue velvet bag that I'd given him, and he counted his money all the time. And it would, <laughs> if it was time to have ice cream, I'd say, you know, you have your own money, Chris. Mm -mm. He would give up ice cream to hold on to these money, this money. And he thought that more was better, so five pennies is even better than a dime. He just liked lots of money. He wanted to pile it up. Well, one day, uh, we were, I was watching a television program on, um, oh, I'm going to, senior moment. But it's one of the international, um, I think it was a Christian uh, program for helping children in Africa, one of those programs. And he walked into the room, and they were showing these children who were starving. And I went to turn it off. He says, no, mommy, I want to see. And we sat and watched together, and he said, where are they? I said, they're on the other side of the world. He said, they're hungry. I said, yes. He went out of the room. He got his bag. <laughs> and he said, mommy, can I send this money to those children? <laughs> I said, yes. And he said, then send all of it, Mom. Mm. He was four years old, and he realized that he was responsible for, to take care of these children that he saw because his heart was broken open with compassion. Mm. And it is a tradition, and I really believe, friends, that this is one of those unifying threads amongst all of us, that living in the example of the founders of our faiths is always about taking care of each other.